All right, team, what's going on? I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB. Today, we are checking in on the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields, their week four performance against the New York Giants. So if you're a Bears fan, or if you like quarterback breakdowns, or if you like Fields, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. I want you guys to know I'm a huge FTA guy, which means comment for the algorithm, and then please like this video. It really helps other people see it. But I'm excited to jump into this tape because we're going to answer the question of, was this Justin's best game as a pro and I think there's some film to back that up there's also of course some bad that we've got to get addressed and we've got to clean some things some things up schematically but without further ado let's jump into the film all right I just flat out love this concept okay so we are where are we in the game right now we are in the second quarter okay really big time stuff just super easy hey play action run action Pure progression, meaning, hey, Justin, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at this guy on this deep out first. Then we're going to work back in to this deep in, one to two. We don't even get past one because one gets open and just a dynamite ball. Really good catch on the sideline. Way to make a big time play. Justin, I thought it was a great throw. Good on, he's on time, clean, ripping that thing, okay? Look at this, nice little flash fake, three hitch, drives it, really good catch. Really, really good catch, okay? Another one that I love, okay? We've got a little read route here, and we're trying to get a shot right out of the gate. So they've got a little run action over here. Run action, play action. They're going to try to hit this out and up. The out and up ends up getting, like, kind of tangled up. Works back to this read route. A read route is where you just go ahead and get vertical until you can't. The second you can't get vertical, boom, sit down. Justin does a really good job of getting to his backside X on the read after the little play fake. Gets to his backside X on the read route. Really good route. Great ball, man. That's big time velocity. Shooting that thing over the middle. I really love this concept too, where it's like, hey man, we've got this shot play over the right, right? Where we can go ahead and try to hit this out and up. It, we would call it more like a, like a, probably like an Oki or an Oscar and up, which is because it's a little bit deeper than a, than an Oki. We'd probably call it Oscar. Anyways, and then we're going to work back to the X, to the X on the read. I thought that's big time stuff. Okay. I got another big time throw here from Justin, okay? This is a samurai concept. Samurai is where you've got a, a deep post, right, to your X, and then we've got the Z on the samurai. So this would be Z samurai. I know you guys are looking at it and saying, wait, Tim, it's a go. Well, it's a cushion eight, which means, hey, if we can close this cushion, right, go ahead and keep it vertical. So he ends up closing the cushion and he ends up running a go instead of that post that we're used to seeing with samurai. <clears throat> but it is the same concept. He just ends up running by his guy. It's a really good, it's, I mean, just really good stuff. So they've got Bruce Pass, good little play action. Guy runs by him, and Justin delivers a freaking dime. That's another heck of a catch, man. 11 out of darn good game. He had that great catch earlier. I want to play that one back so you guys can see. Gosh, man, love the concept. Love the aggressiveness, hunting with the football. Really big-time stuff from Fields. And then, of course, just an amazing catch. But no, 11 had a great game. He had the sliding catch that we saw in the first clip. He had that catch. That's really good stuff. Great play action there. Love the height he gets on that one, man. Gives his guy a shot to make a play. That's exactly what he does. So those were three good we had out of the gate. Now we've got a teaching clip, okay? Because... This was mind-boggling to me, okay? So first, let's talk through the coverage here, okay? We're getting straight cover one, right? So we've got man-to-man -man across the board, and we've got our deep safety, okay? That's straight cover one, okay? For some reason, I have no idea why, okay? Let's first talk through people, too. This is probably like a strong safety, right? This is our nickel Sam, right? We got corner, we got corner, we got our free safety high, Okay? Our next backer in from our nickel Sam, right, is going to be our Mike. We have our Mike weak, okay? Anytime we have our Mike weak, we've got to make some protection checks to me. So what the, what the Bears are in right now is they're going to slide, and they're basically accounting for these two guys with these three, which then basically leaves one, two, three, four for these three. It's mind-boggling to me why you would do that because now what's going to happen is they're going to green dog which means hey if your back stays in protection you blitz too and they're going to beat us i honestly can't figure out why you would do this when you literally have 
like, hey, let's just go low, low. Let's move this mic, right? So let's 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 just switch the protection or let's slide it a different direction. Let's get our one on one here and let's slide and let's go four for three. Let's get these linemen, okay, to go four for three and account for the will and let's slide our back in and account for the mic, right? Like there are so many ways you could solve this. Instead, watch, we end up sliding to the right and we go three for two, right? Boom, we slide to the right. And then by the time his eyes get to try to account for him, he can't. And we have a free runner. But it's like, I just, I, I can't for the life of me figure out. And it's another thing where it's like, why are we on the road with a young quarterback doing center head pop and not guard indicators so, so the center can keep his eyes up? We got to be doing guard indicator. It just doesn't make sense. Guard indicators when you see those guys tap the guard, right? The center head bop is when the center puts his head under and waits for Justin. I, I don't understand it. A lot of times when you see the center head pop, it's with veteran quarterbacks, man. I just, I for the life of me, can't understand what we're doing there. So, and like, I'm not going to claim to be a O-line expert. I am going to tell you that there are a lot of times that I played where it's up to the quarterback to get himself into the right protection. Hey, let's figure out how we're going to account for this. Hey, Louie, Louie, let's slide four for four. And listen, I'm going to put my back on this mic, right? Or you could do it however you want, right? You could change, you could full out change the protection. Or you could just say like, hey guys, I'm going to move the mic to this guy. Now O-line, I want you guys on the four down in the will back i'm gonna put you on the mic scan to nickel say like there's so many ways to solve it but anyways now that was just teaching okay i don't know who that's on to be honest because i'm not in their meeting rooms and when they do protections but that's just a teaching clip of like this was very easily solvable and we did okay now we've got a bad bad we just got to flat out throw this right now like listen when we're in boot we have to be ready to throw the flat flats open take the flat don't do this Okay, where we take a negative play in the red zone. That's one thing we can't do. Throw it to the tight end right now. I hope you guys saw who I meant by the flat. This guy, right? Watch him. He's getting to the flat right now. Wide open. We got to take it. Okay, take it to the flat, man. Yeah, take it. Don't do that. And like, listen, Justin's athletic to make some plays like that, but when it's there and it's easy, take it, okay? This one, we just bail too early, right? We've got a little under route here, okay, paired with a corner route. Justin gets his eyes to the right spot, which is this concept, and literally, he starts to bail right now. Pocket is clean, right? And I get it, man. He hasn't always had a clean pocket, but the pocket's clean, and he starts to bail literally milliseconds before his tight end pops wide open. Just hang on it one more second. Don't bail for no reason. The one thing that I will say is he does a great job, tremendous job moving and creating, but we do occasionally bail on clean pockets, and that's what we've got to fix. we got to stick in there when our pocket's clean, man. This is one of those situations. So can't have that one. Okay, this one, I just want him to take one of these Okies. Okay, take one of these Okies and trust his receiver. Okay, we've got our Okie here. Boom. We've got our Okie here. Pre-snap this against off corner and take one of these. Don't do this. Okay, again, pocket's clean. Pocket's clean, right? Why are we bailing? And we bail ourselves into a hit. Those are the things we can't do. We bail ourselves into a hit. Those are the things that we do not want to have as a quarterback where we're scrambling and we're bailing into into pressure you can see him moving him around gets him into the right play but then we just scramble into a hit those are the things that we can't have cannot have it not a fan okay this was a miss on an either or really cool play design okay so to the top we've got slant flat right where we've got this boom slant we've got this flat i guarantee what they're telling him is man if this is wide open just take it, okay? If not, we've got our tight end screen we want to hit. This is not wide open. This is not just take it. There's too much congestion. Don't do this because what I want you guys, I'm going to play. I'll, I'll let you guys see the clip once. Look at it, okay? Ball gets batted down incomplete. 
But now what I want you guys to see is what would have happened if he had taken this tight end on the either or. Because we've got a block here, we've got a runoff here, and we've got two linemen for one guy. We've got to take this tight end. I don't know what made him want to go to the slant, but that's one of those that, man, we can't have this tight end. Oh, that one hurts, man, and it's a miss on an either or. I like the play design. I really do. But... And I get it, man. He feels like he can fit that slant window, but it's not like, to me, that's not coached as a, if you can fit it in, it's coached as a, if it's wide open. Okay, pre-snap, it's wide open. Let's take it. If not, you know, let's get to our tight end on the screen. This one's just great, man. We got a full field progression. Okay, we've got stick arrow with a, with a cross concept. Okay, so we're going to read this thing, arrow to the stick, to the cross, to the dig, all the way back to our back. And look at Justin work the whole progression. Arrow not there, stick not there. Doesn't like the cross. Doesn't like the spacing on the dig. Doesn't like the back. Now he scrambles. This is as good as it gets, man, from a quarterback in the NFL. I want to play it one more time full speed so you guys can really get a feel for it. But to me, man, that was... Watch this. Boom. Arrow, stick, cross, dig, back. Okay, I guess I'll do it myself. I <laughs> love that, man. That's such a good play. That is such a good play from a quarterback. You got to love that one. Boom, 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 boom. Get out of there. Big time, big time stuff. Big time, big time stuff, okay? This one I like because it's a little drive starter, okay? They are going to try to hit like something. They're going to try to hit a little wheeling up here. They've got this backside guy on an over. They've been running the ball a lot on first down, okay? So they hit him with boot, okay? The wheel's not there. Then he gets to the over route. Really good job. Right? Shot call doesn't mean shot taken. They call a nice little shot play. Hey, he decides, not for me. I'm going to work back to my over. That's a big-time NFL play. Big-time NFL quarterback play. That's the hard-hitting analysis you guys come for. Hits a wide-open guy. Big-time NFL quarterback play. That was trash. Sorry, guys. I'll work on that. Okay. Last one I've got for you is we got a third down ball. Another pure progression that I just flat out love. We've got our Harvey route. That's our one. This cross is going to be our two. This dig is going to be our three. Okay, when he peaks the Harvey route, this guy's get this, this guy's sliding under it. Okay, so he gets off it, gets to the cross, which is wide open, delivers a dime. Love that, man. They need more pure progressions. They flat out need more pure progressions to solve this thing. Okay, to help Justin expedite his learning curve, they need more pure progressions. Really good throw. Really, really good throw. Really, really good throw. Okay, so all in all, where are we at? I thought this might have been Fields' best game as a pro, and I know that's kind of crazy to say because they lost and he didn't have any touchdowns, and like I know it's kind of crazy to say, but I do think it might have been his best game as a pro. The one thing that I will say is they need to figure out pressure because after watching this game, people are going to heat him up, man. They're going to heat him up like crazy, and he's got to be ready for it or Chicago has to be ready for it as a whole. They also need to stop doing the center pop. You've got to get to a guard indicator. It makes no sense to have your center with his head button like under his legs looking at Justin, and then he pops up. We missed two protections because of it, where guys were pressuring from depth, not at the line, from depth that we then couldn't pop our eyes up and problem solve. So that's got to get it out. Go to guard indicator. Solve some of this stuff. Sorry, I get a little pissed off when I talk about this kind of stuff. But let's just solve it. Okay, let's just solve it. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Until next time, peace.